So the war is escalating and spilling over. What does that mean? It means neither side is short of money. If you ask the West, they will blame India and China for it. We buy Russian oil, hence Putin's war chest keeps getting bigger. But turns out, Europe is doing the same thing. They are buying record amounts of Russian LNG. LNG is liquefied natural gas. Until last year, Europe imported very little LNG. Instead, they bought piped gas from Russia. But after the war came sanctions. European countries decided to stop buying Russian oil. How very noble. The brave Europeans sacrificing a comfortable winter to fight Vladimir Putin. But that's only half the story. After banning Russian oil, Europe started buying Russian LNG and lots of it. I have some numbers for you. Europe's LNG imports from Russia are up 40%, 4-0, compared to 2021. And 2021 was before the war. During the same period, global imports from Russia have also increased. But that increase is only of 6%. Do you see the difference here? Global imports of Russian LNG increased by 6%, but European imports increased by 40%. And how much was this trade worth? Around $5.3 billion in seven months. At this rate, Europe could spend $10 billion on Russian gas this year. Now, to give you some context, Russia's defense budget is around $100 billion, and Europe is paying 10% of that for Russian gas. So, so much for sanctions. Spain, Belgium and France are the biggest buyers. France bought around 4.5 million cubic meters of Russian LNG. Belgium, 7 million and Spain, around 7.5 million. Most of this gas is coming from a joint venture called Yamal LNG. It's a majority stake. In fact, its majority stake is being held by a Russian company called Novatech. The rest is spread globally. France's Total Energy has a stake. So does China's gas giant CNPC, and this trade continues to flourish. Imports are not just up compared to 2021, they are up compared to last year as well. There is an increase of around 2%, which means Europe's gas imports are not slowing down after 2022, they're gathering speed. In fact, Russia is the second biggest supplier of LNG to Europe, the first is America. Around 16% of Europe's LNG comes from Russia from its own enemy. So why isn't Brussels doing something about it? Well, they say they have a plan. The plan is to phase out all Russian fossil fuels by 2027. Oil, piped gas, liquid gas, they will stop buying all of it by 2027. Until then, it's all fair. In March this year, Spain's energy minister highlighted this. She called the situation absurd. She also asked Spanish companies to not buy Russian LNG. It made no difference, though. And why would it? Energy companies will listen to laws. They will not, not listen to appeals and suggestions. So what is stopping Europe from sanctioning companies for buying Russian LNG? Just think about it. Russian oil is sanctioned. Russian coal is sanctioned. Even Russian cigarettes are sanctioned. But Russian LNG is free to use. Sums up Europe's hypocrisy. Their sanctions are at, at best half-hearted filled with loopholes and backdoors. Just look at Russian crude. Europe says we don't want anything to do with Russian crude oil. We won't import or refine it. But what if other countries refine Russian crude and ship it to Europe? Well, then it's fine. Countries like India, China, and Turkey have been selling refined Russian crude to Europe. Europeans have been criticizing it. They have called for sanctions, but at the end of the day, they keep buying the same oil. It's like taking bribes. You won't take the money directly, but you'll take expensive gifts bought with that money. In reality, it's all the same. And don't get me wrong, Europe is free to buy whatever they want. Russian oil, Russian LNG, Russian vodka, anything they like. But to be honest, they have to get off the moral high horse and not criticize others who also buy from Russia. You may remember what Ukraine said. It said India had blood on its hands for buying Russian oil. By that logic, doesn't Europe also have bloody hands? You can't say one thing and do the other. But that is Europe's playbook. They have promised military aid worth $28 billion to Ukraine. I know it's a lot, but at the same time, they're also spending almost $10 billion on Russian gas. They're effectively funding Putin's war. The question is why? For starters, many European countries had elections recently. Russian in fact, European energy prices were a big issue. 
So banning Russian LNG may have backfired then. It could have triggered an energy crisis. But that was last year. What's stopping them now? European gas storage containers are more than 90% full, so the winter is taken care of. Yet the Russian LNG imports keep rising and don't expect anyone to question this booming trade. Because when Europe does it, it's a strategic choice. When others do it, it's blood money.